Hello friends, welcome once again. Friends, today I am here to present new ICAR research achievements. Firstly, talk about the mango. Friends, if we talk about the dwarfing varieties in mango, so firstly we have to say that there is Amrapali. But recently, a different rootstock is used to induce dwarfing in Posa Arunima variety. So friends, here you can see that different polyembryonic root stock like Kurkan, Olleor, K5, K3 and K2 are used to induce dwarfing in Posha Arunima. Duration is from 2008 to 2019. So what is the actual finding? The actual finding is it can be infer, inferred or referred that K2, a polyembryonic genotype of mango, is able to restrict vegetative growth of mango cultivar that is Pusha arunima without deteriorating the fruit quality. So the important point is the root stock. Root stock means that K2 could be used as a potential dwarf root stock for the Pusha arunima under high density orcharding as a spacing of 4 meter into 4 meter. So this is important point like to induce dwarfing in Posha or Nima, which is suitable root stock. So we can say that K2 and what is the spacing of this particular variety by, by using this root stock that is 4 meter into 4 meter. So this is an important point which is recently developed in Posha or Nima. Friends, how to we can say that that particular variety or root stock is used as a dwarfing root stock. So suppose that the best or long term solution is to impart dwarfing in mango is use of root stock which can reduce vigor of mango sign variety more than 30%. If that particular root stock is reduced the vigor of a commercial variety up to 30%. So you can say that that is good root stock next is next point in the term of onion friends there is new variety of onion that is posha soba is recently released from iari and uh, it is a brown skin color variety used for rabi season and the tss is you can say that 17 plus minus 2 degree bricks it means from 15 to 19 degree bricks it is a mid variety and mostly used for the processing drying and export purpose and there are uh, different uh, antioxidant activity like gallic acid equivalent phenolic content or maximum next is next variety that is posha sona this is another new variety of onion posha sona grown under the ravi season and this is also suitable for export mostly in european country and usa and used as a salad purpose also TSS content is 10 plus minus 2 degree bricks. So friends, recently from IIVR Varanasi, a new aromatic sponge guard variety is released. This is a very unique thing which is first time done, done in vegetable. Sponge guard that is Leufa cylindrica or you can say that scenario is Leufa aegyptica. Friends, a new genotype that is VRSG7-17 is now identified as a good variety and the typical characteristic of this variety is it have a typical aroma as like basmati rice in the if most of the part like in the leaves in flowers in fruit in blossom end of the fruit and the plant vine and peel everywhere friends the presence of hexanol 3 octanone is a major compound which is responsible for that particular aroma and this variety is a little bit tolerant to the downy mildew and melon beaver and moderately susceptible to the sponge guard mosaic virus so important point is it have a unique or you can say that distinct aroma is like basmati rice due to the presence of hexanol and 3 octanol next is a new variety of brinjal that is Pusa Hara Wagon is released. Friends, Pusa Hara Wagon is a green colored oval fruit variety rich in antioxidant. Another unique new brinjal variety that is white color 
and the name of variety is Pusa Safed Bagan 1. White oval round fruit variety, it is an early maturing, flower are light purple and phenol content is maximum as compared to the Pusa Uttam and Pusa Kranti and it is also rich in antioxidant activity. So friends, these are the new updates which is recently published from the ICAR. Thank you.